Hey guys, welcome into another YouTube video. We're currently testing the 6600 rig and it's on a new coin or a recently popularized coin uh, called Radiant um, or RXD and yeah, we're using SRB minor version 0, sorry, version 1.0.8. Um, we're currently getting 352-ish mega hash um, per 6600 and these are the overclock settings that we're using to achieve that. Uh, so yeah, obviously the SOC VDD Max are the ones that you can't quite see uh, in the main screen, so those uh, correspond there. I'll show the flight sheet just here. So just a coin wallet configuring the miner and then that's all the miner config there it's all pretty simple um, well it, it's pretty simple for AMD in Hive OS um, can get a bit trickier with uh, NVIDIA and uh, in Windows so you have to use I believe it's called CC miner um, a little bit trickier uh, but yeah it, for AMD SRB miner makes it pretty simple and Hive OS makes it super simple. Um, yeah, so back in here, we've been running this for about four hours, so it's pretty stable. And these are the results that we got. So the wattage at the wall is 487.5. Um, take away the system idle, so the eight cards are drawing 470.5 watts. Divide that by 8, 58.82 basically watts. Uh, so hash rate with the, that wattage gives us an efficiency of 5.98 mega hash per watt. And these are the overclock settings again, correspondent to the models here. So if we compare it, not really a lot to compare it to. I was trying to get numbers online, but um, it's a little bit hard to get numbers for this because it's such a, uh, it's not really a commonly known or used algorithm. So I was just, yeah, searching for some numbers. Uh, and yeah, this is what I got. Apparently I haven't uh, corresponded this in though. So I'll just chuck that in. Uh, so 5.98 mega hash per watt for the 6600s. And yeah, we've got 5.8 for the 6800 XT, 5.32 for the 3070 Ti. Um, yeah, pretty much just between 5 and 5.5 for everything else. Uh, but I haven't done the testing for any of these personally myself. The only one I've done it for is the 6600 rig. So yeah, the efficiency on the 6600 rig seems very good. Uh, this is definitely a very core dominant algorithm, like extremely so. Uh, which means that uh, it could potentially be exploited by ASICs. I actually haven't looked into whether it's currently being mined by ASICs or FPGAs or anything, but uh, this is the potential, potential there, I guess. Uh, something else to note, with the memory clock, you cannot go lower than 710. Uh, I would just get crashes lower than 710. Uh, and with the memory voltage, uh, I, I'm not sure what the the transition point is, but um, after I got past a certain number, uh, the memory voltage just stopped having an effect, uh, and I can't check in the miner what number that is, because uh, I'm at a different IP address to my rig, so yeah, basically this number, I could push it all the way down to like 500. I didn't bother going any lower, because it wasn't having any effect on the performance of the rig. So yeah, I just checked it at 700. Um, not really important. I think between like 500 and 800, it'll have pretty much the exact same effect. You could probably go even lower. You could probably put it down to one if you wanted to, and it's not gonna make any difference because Hive OS won't actually apply it to the rig. Or well, there'll be some built-in limit to stop it from being applied. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Got the overclock settings there. Got uh, 
SOC VDD Max here and achieving some good efficiency on these cards. Um, yeah, this is, there's been a few videos coming out about this algorithm, so I thought I'd just check out some uh, overclock settings for the 6600. Unfortunately, the 6600 rig is about the only one that I can do at the moment, just because I'm away from my rigs at the moment. Um, if I were to try and test any of my other cards, like, because they're in mixed rigs, they're also currently off, but I can turn them on remotely, but like if I were trying to test my 6700 XTs, uh, I'm not going to get a proper power draw from the wall because there's all these other cards in there as well, and it's just too many variables, and yeah, it's just going to mess with the results. So, unfortunately, the only cards that I can do a proper power draw from the wall for are the 6600s. Yeah, so that's all I've got for this video. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. I also have a couple of donation wallets down in the description. Uh, so any money that gets donated to there uh, will go towards purchasing more cards for testing on this channel. So if you want me to test another card, just comment down in the description what card you want me to test, what algorithm you want me to test, and if you want to donate some coins towards me achieving that. That's all I've got for today, so thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.